Hey everybody, this is Tom, and we are back with another review of an LED lighting product. So I haven't even opened this box yet. I just got it in the mail, so if you'll bear with me, I'll open her up. And we'll see what we got. Today we have ourselves a nice wedge-shaped box. It looks like it was a little abused in transit this time. But that's not Sansi's fault. This is a Sansi LED. They called a 70 watt LED wall pack light with a dusk to dawn photocell. I'm not sure if it'll focus on that or not. 70 watts for LED is a lot of power. So I'm expecting this thing to be fairly massive. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this guy up. Well, I don't think it needs a whole heck of a lot of packaging um, because I can tell right now that it's it's made out of metal. Look at the size of those LED elements. Holy cow. Those things are enormous. Here, let me compare, let me do a little side-by-side -side comparison with another SG LED light that I use pretty regularly. This is what I, I believe is a 30 watt. No, this is a 50 watt um, work light. And look at the size of those compared to this guy. So the uh, technology looks a little different. These are continuous lighting elements where these have like individual LED lights um, soldered to the unit. Um, I think the what we're looking at here are kind of like, I don't know, they're all protected. These lenses are protected with a protective film. And it has like a diffuser in the center. Um, I'm not sure why. But that's not the point of this video. We're not going to get too much. We're not going to get too much into the technical aspect of things here. We're just going to take a look and see how this thing performs. And really the closest thing I have to it is this guy. This has eight LED elements in it. And um, so I think this is going to be the closest thing I have. This is 50 watts. This is 70 watts. And this has a dusk till dawn sensor in it. So um, it is activated by the sunlight. Sun comes up, it turns off. Sun goes down, it turns on. Take a look at some of the stuff that came with it here. Doesn't come with much. A couple wire nuts and um, some mounting screws. The usual congratulation card, inventory sheet, and some rudimentary instructions. So this does need to be wired into your house wiring. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, because I don't have a location to use this at the moment, at least until I know how bright it is. I am just going to hook it up to a cord and plug it into the wall. And then uh, once I get the cord hooked up to this and I get it outside, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I lied. Before I go test this out, I wanted to issue a correction and a couple of observations. First of all, the correction is that this thing is not constructed out of metal. The backing plate, the mounting plate, is metal, okay? The rest is plastic which has not been an issue in the past with other Sansi products that I own. Um, 
So I'm not concerned about the plastic construction um, as far as the durability or longevity of the product. My concern is that it arrived in an empty box in a form-fitting packaging and um, I'm afraid that, you know, it might get banged around in transit and um, pot uh, potentially arrive damaged, which is uh, just inconvenient. Um, they would obviously replace it if uh, it did arrive damaged, but it's just inconvenient and avoidable. The observations. So I was taking a look at this thing. And I, it's actually upside down. When you mount it on a wall, you want it pointing down. You want to mount it high, pointing down over the area that you want to illuminate. Um, we have the light sensor right here. I'm assuming that the ballast and the electronics are inside this box right here because um, you probably won't be able to see it on this video, but um, is if you look inside here, there's just nothing there. It's just wires that go into this box and it's all empty. Um, allows for a lot of airflow um, once again, these LED units are built directly onto ceramic plates, which help dissipate the heat, and it keeps them separate from the electronics that control them. So it's a really neat design, um, and it, in my experience, it stays cool. And then with the added um, ventilation and everything, there's no chance of this ever overheating and affecting the life of the LEDs because of heat. So now that I've said all that, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, I'm running off of that little uh, light up there um, for now, just to show you the setup that I have. So I've got the two lights side by side, the same distance from the house, pointing at the same angle. And I'm going to lock the ISO and the exposure on this camera, kind of like how I've done in previous tests. And I'm just going to compare one to the other. And you can see for yourself the difference in the brightness and the throw of the light and the pattern and everything else. And then I will uh, get back with you after I do that. And uh, we'll have a little summary. I have the ISO set to 200 and the exposure set to zero. We're going to start with the small 50 watt work light. If I, can, I can't even see what I'm doing out here. There we go. Okay, let me get behind it here. So this is the Sansi 50 watt work light. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty bright light. It does a pretty good job. Here's the corner of my patio here. You can see it's just starting to get into the shadows over there. Very bright, you can probably see my dogs and my family inside the house there. And then by the time you get to the bush over here, it's also dropped off. So now I will switch over to the floodlight. So now if we take a look. Not too much of a difference. Um, I can tell that the bush is lit up a little bit more here. The intensity of the light right here, kind of like that's in line with the light, is much brighter. And then over here, maybe a little bit brighter as well. <clears throat> so the throw of the light is about the same. The intensity is just a little bit brighter. And considering that this draws 20 more watts than this light, that makes a lot of sense then, as far as the brightness goes. Let me go ahead and <clears throat> plug them in side by side. Let's see if that makes a difference. If I can get it in here. Here they are side by side. Um, just a lot more intense light directly in front of the lights. And it is a bit brighter along the margins of the light here. 
I didn't even look upward here, and as you can see, it has lit the whole underside of my pergola. And you can tell that the bottom half of my pergola has been painted once before, but the upper half has not. <laughs> so, that's how they look. And this is, if you point this camera directly at them, you can tell that they're very similar in their intensity. Just a little bit more light coming out of the floodlight. Well, I hope I was able to give you like an objective comparison of how this light performs. It is much bigger, but the elements are farther sp spaced farther apart. Um, the light output appears to be greater than uh, this Sansi shop light, but not by like an order of magnitude or anything. Uh, but the form factor is very useful. There's really not a good way I'd be able to mount this outside and use it on a switch as an outdoor floodlight. But this is designed exactly for that purpose. It's designed to be mounted on the side of a house, on a barn, off the side of a porch, and provide a large amount of light over a large area. And so I think that uh, Sansi has a winner here. As I were, was performing my tests, I just put my hand over the surface of the light as it was on and you can feel no heat coming off these lights at all and I that always amazes me. Um, this is probably the fourth or the fifth light that I've reviewed for Sansi and I'm just amazed at how little heat comes off of these lights. So if you are in the market for a dusk to dawn floodlight for your backyard patio area, you want to entertain guests at night, um, if you want a security light on a large property, um, something like that, I think this could be a good uh, solution for your needs. So I will go ahead and link the product down in the description below. And so hopefully, if you're interested, you can click on that link and buy yourself one of these Sansi 70 watt dust till dawn floodlights. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.